Hey everybody, MovieFanZ here. So on Sunday, I was able to go see Top Gun Maverick with my family. So this movie is 30 years in the making, over, because the original came out in 1986. This was originally supposed to come out a couple of years ago, but because of the pandemic, it got moved back. And it actually got moved back to a great place, and that was Memorial Day weekend. So, in this movie, we are reunited with Pete Maverick Mitchell, and it, he's been doing his own thing, and for some reason, which you'll see in the movie, he is recruited back to the Top Gun Flight School and, as a, an instructor, and he basically has to help train the new recruits for a dangerous mission. So, in this movie, like I said, you get Tom Cruise back. You also get an appearance by Val Kilmer as Iceman. Iceman. But you also get some new faces, like you get Jennifer Connelly as Penny, the love interest. You get Miles Teller as a uh, codename Rooster, who has a connection with uh, Maverick. And you also get John Hamm, who is kind of the one in charge of Tom Cruise at the Academy now. So I really enjoyed this movie. I thought everything worked. The acting, the... Uh, intensity, the chemistry between the uh, the characters. I like the story. There was just there wasn't really anything I didn't like. There was a romance in here, which makes sense. But compared to the first one, which I wasn't a fan of because I felt like that took away from the movie, this kind of didn't because it wasn't like a focal point. It was just sprinkled in and out. So, overall, I'm going to give this movie a 4.5 out of 5. Like I said, a very worthy sequel. And that is my review. For, oh, and it is directed by Joseph Kaczynski, who also did another Tom Cruise movie, which was Oblivion in 2011. And he also did Tron Legacy. But again, that is my review for Top Gun Maverick. Come back next time for another review. This is Movie Fan Z signing off. Have a good night.